what to wear on football's biggest stage. Cameroon's team are caught in a legal battle about which kit they can debut in the upcoming World Cup. One manufacturing company had the deal, but that was canceled in July, switching sponsorship rights to another company. Now the market is flooded with the old shirts, and few of the new ones are available. I'm very happy to be the first Cameroonian to have bought this shirt, which I will wear proudly. Cameroon and the cancelled sports supplier are now in court, trying to resolve which jersey the team will end up wearing in Qatar. You have a kit supplier that wants to hang on to its contract. You have a new kit supplier. The market, the Cameroonian market, because I was in Cameroon a few days ago, is flooded with jerseys that were made by Lecoq Sportif, obviously, because the jerseys produced by One All Sports had not yet gone on sale. But it's a very complex situation, as you did mention. Cameroon has a history of kit drama. In 2002, FIFA banned its uniform, saying players must wear sleeves. So the team showed up to play with black shirts under their vests. Then two years later, the squad was fined for wearing a one-piece kit, but competed in the African Cup of Nations with it anyway. Fans say the current dispute doesn't overshadow their ability to perform. It's a satisfaction for us and a relief for Cameroonians. Now we can focus on the adventure of Qatar with the indomitable lion. Cameroon will play their opening match against Switzerland on November 24th. How they'll look, they still don't know. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera.